Hello everyone, once again welcome back to Bell Reads. So today we have another story book, a princess story book and the princess name is Sleeping Beauty. So shall we start the story? Once upon a time, a royal couple was blessed with a beautiful daughter. The king and the queen threw a grand party to celebrate. They invited everyone in the kingdom including the magical fairies. All the guests blessed the baby. But the king had forgotten to invite one old fairy whom no one had seen for years. The fairy was insulted. She stormed into the castle and cursed the child. Oh no! At the age of 15, she shall prick herself with a spindle and die. Oh no! The king and the queen pleaded with the fairy, but the old fairy refused to take the curse back. A sweet little fairy approached the king and queen and said, I can't reverse the curse, but I can reduce its power. The princess shall not die, but remain, but shall remain asleep for a hundred years. Meanwhile, the king ordered that all the spindles in the kingdom be destroyed. Burn the spindles! On the princess' fifteenth birthday, she was alone in the castle. While wandering about, she found a lonely high tower and climbed its staircase. She stepped into a dimly lit room and saw an old lady spinning. Her old witch. Excuse me, what are you doing? She asked the lady. I am spinning, dear. Why don't you come and try it? Replied the old lady. As the princess has now was seen a spindle, she felt very curious and went to do that. The moment she touched the spindle, the princess pricked herself and fell to the ground fast asleep. Soon the entire kingdom fell asleep under the fairy spell. Over the years, a thick hedge of briar roses grew around the palace. Many men tried to enter the castle, but none could. Until one day, a hundred years later, a handsome young prince succeeded. The prince was surprised to see all the animals and the humans asleep in the kingdom. So the prince just climbed the wall and got into the palace. When he saw the princess, he fell in love at first sight. He had never seen anyone so beautiful. He kissed the sleeping princess softly and her eyes fluttered open. The princess was awake. She took one look at the handsome prince and fell in love too. Look, the curse was broken and the entire kingdom woke up from their slumber. The prince and princess got married and lived happily ever after. I hope everyone enjoyed the story. So this is another beautiful book from the Wonder House. It's very good for the kids. See you soon with next another story. Bye-bye.